Hello, I'm Shek Rufin. Welcome to the physics classroom. Today, I want to talk about matters and the state of the matters. Um, what are matters, objects, or substances? We have many different substances around us, like the air that you cannot see, but you can feel when it moves. And um, you can see the chairs, or perhaps the people, and the desks, books around you, your pen. There are different objects, but they are not the same as each other. That's why we try to uh, categorize them into different states. What makes them different is that they have very small, tiny particles, okay, like water. It has, it is made of very small molecules or particles that their arrangement inside that matter gives them that specific kind of uh, property and state. Um, it tells us in which state that matter is. It can be, there are the three different states of the matters like solid, liquid and gas. Um, based on how these particles are placed inside that uh, substance, based on the force between them, amount of energy that they have, the space between the particles, and all of them, they define they are under which category. Or is it the solid or liquid or gas state? For example, water is an example. We have water in different states. Water can be get frozen and become ice. Solid water, it's called as an ice. So it's solid. It's not different from the liquid water, and it's not different from the water vapor steam. Water vapor is gas state, and the water in a liquid form, of course, the one that you drink. So what makes this water have a different properties, somehow hard, sometimes uh, very soft, and sometimes uh, what, what, what gives the, this water different, its different properties and characteristics. So these are those tiny particles inside the matters, the molecules. What, what is called as a particle theory, particle theory talks about the amount of energy the motion and force of attraction and the space between each part element of the matter. So, if you want to look further into the matters and find what gives them that, that different states, to have a different states, how do these conversions um, between the states happen, you have to look into particles and you can define it as particle theory. Particle theory says that the energy of the matter is the movement, how fast or slow they move, and force of attraction between the particles and the amount of space between the particles will change when a matter changes from one state to another. For example, ice changes to liquid water or liquid water changes to, to steam. So what is changing here is not the matter itself, is not the particles that are changing. The, the, that's the space between the particles. That's the amount of energy that they have which is changing. So let's have a look. For example, we have a solid object which is, for example, like ice. If you look into the structure and how the patterns of the uh, molecules and the particles in it, you will find that the particles are very close to each other and somehow there is no sp space between them, like ice. So there are, for example, water molecules, and you see them, they are very well arranged, one about another. They don't move, but they only vibrate on a fixed point like they're shaking because they feel cold. Really? Why do they feel cold? Because their lack of energy. So here we have the least amount of energy, the lowest amount of energy between in the molecules here in the solid state. So because they have no energy, they don't move. 
they are just vibrating on a fixed point and the force of attraction then between the particles would be very high. That's why they are very close to each other. You see, they hold it harder firmly. So very high attraction force is between them. The fact that the particle, the force would be weaker, isn't it? So the closer they are, the stronger it is very hard for us to separate them from each other. So let's see. Uh, with the liquid foam, a liquid state, um, we have the particles of the water, liquid water, that are not very well arranged and they are sliding over each other and the amount of energy in the particles is not very low, it's not very high, but it is actually a slightly, uh, the amount of energy is uh, higher than the solid state. And um, of course, the force of attraction compared to the solid is here uh, weaker than solid. Solid is stronger. And the gas stays like a steam. You see the particles are very far apart and they're moving very fast in a very high speed and they collide with each other and they bounce back and then they have the highest amount of energy and because they are energetic, they feel that they have a lot of energy. They do not know how to use it or where to use it. So it is used to move faster. When you eat too much food and you feel energetic, you cannot stay in one place and you just try to move and run from one side of the room to another and sometimes and it gives you to get rid of the too much amount of energy that you have. But if you don't eat well and you are hungry, you feel so uh, lack of energy, you don't have energy, so you just tend to sit in one place. You don't to move. So if you don't have energy, you become like solid particles and they do not move and they are just vibrating at a fixed point. But look at them, they are very well arranged. And here, in the gas, they are very far apart and then they move in a very high speed and they collide on the way on each other and they bounce back because they have a lot of energy. But the force of attraction between the particles here is the least force of, force of attraction because they are very far from each other. So, this is how we can explain different states of the matter based on particle theory. We can, when you, when you are asked to explain each of the states based on the particle theory, you have to talk about the amount of energy that you have, they talk, about, they talk about the uh, arrangement of the particles and the space between them, uh, how fast or slow they move, and also the force of attraction that exists between the particles. Okay, now um, let's see what factors can affect the pressure, the amount of pressure in the uh, object. So the gaseous objects, uh, the pressure in the gaseous objects can change by these two factors, volume and temperature. It means, for example, you imagine that we have a piston and it is filled with a gas for air here and, um, and it is sealed from one side and the other side and then at the next part um, we have the same piston and the same amount of the gas in here trapped inside but this time we try to decrease the volume of the gas by pushing this handle inside so you see the volume of the gas here is higher than the volume of the gas here what is happening here uh, we have given less space to the gas particles to move so the gas particles are trying to move they don't have a space enough or trying to um, push the, you know, the container's wall to open more space for themselves to have more space to move and what we are decreasing the space here and what is happening here they more frequently collide and hit the wall of the container and here and there 
and here and there. So we are more collision of the gas particles with the uh, containers wall or the piston wall here. So more collision means higher pressure. So the pressure of the gas increases if it decreases the volume of the uh, gas. Here, there is another example that I want to prove what happens if I change the temperature of the gas. You imagine that we have one football and place it in the, under the sun for some hours here. And after a while, after so many hours, which is we left it under the sunshine, you see that the temperature uh, increases. So the gas particles here start moving faster and faster. The faster movement of the gas particles means that we have, we have more collision. There is more collision of the gas particles with the wall of the container. So the collision of the particles of the matter, the gas particle, with the wall of container creates a pressure. This is cause of pressure to form. The more it is, it means, or the faster they move, it means more collision, it means higher pressure. So if the motion of the particles of the gas increases, the pressure increases. If the volume, volume of, the, uh, of the gas decreases, the pressure increases because the collision becomes more frequent. Uh, with the wall of that um, place that you are in. 